Black Alpha Network. Power to the people. She's standing on this red carpet more like she looks like a plus one rather than a person like a featured artist. Damn. Oh, damn. Hold up. Whoa. You see this chick? Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, what's oh. really going on? Oh, that, that what? takes soap all day. What's really going on? <laughs> oh, she's damn. Was jumping off the diving board and that shit. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. Has she lightened her skin? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, yeah, brother. I, I, I think you got an answer on that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. That mother got the cake soap across the board. Oh. All right. We're not done. We're, we, we got another one. And I, I'm, we about to go there now. We about to get real because I, I need some brothers and sisters to enlighten me on this one. I'm sorry. We start talking about these folks. They start getting these goddamn passes in these streets, but we ain't giving out no motherfucking passes today. Y'all <laughs> tell me right now, is this person a culture vulture? Because this person has been getting a lot of passes for some culture vulture shit, and we're going to explode expose all of that right here, right now. Y'all tell me, is this a culture vulture? Wheelchair. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this picture, but I kind of knew who he was talking about. Wheelchair Come Jimmy. On, hey. I, I, hey, I'm just watching the chat and I'm listening to y'all. Y'all, y'all tell me because did uh, he really do that to his head? <laughs> <laughs> that is insane. <laughs> that is insane. Somebody Yo. tell me, is this Man. a culture vulture? Mind you, this is the person who ain't spoke on nothing. About black mm -hmm. society, black he's not even soft with it. This motherfucker don't even right. talk like a soft democrat. He don't even get on some black lives matter shit. Now, mm -hmm. this man's been big during the whole Trayvon Martin, Mike Brown, Tamir Rice, mm -hmm. Sandra Bland, Rakia Boyd, Corinne Gaines. He's been around this whole motherfucking time. He's non-FBA, mm -hmm. he don't write his own shit, and yet right. he says, nigga this, nigga that, left and right, and He's called women bitches. Now, let's be honest. When he says mm. women are bitches, he's not talking about Sally. He mm -hmm. ain't talking about Suzanne. He's talking mm -hmm. about Suzanne. He says that because he wouldn't dare say that because his mama's one. So y'all right. know that. So right. when you start talking about indirectly saying that in regards to all sisters, you start talking about throwing the N-word around left and right. You're mm -hmm. non-FBA. You don't write your own fucking lyrics. And you've never said a goddamn thing. You ain't made a motherfucking tweet Ooh. about any black person. Is that and he wears pink fingernail to polish, right? Oh, I seen that. I seen I, that, brother. I, would I think said, this. I said, okay. I guess, this, I guess this, this is, I guess that was his way of promoting the new Barbie movie. Oh, go ahead, go with it. <laughs> ah, I, the way I see it, brother. Drake said he is a Barbie girl in a Barbie world, ain't he? And, and with the thing about him, though. He a whole Canadian, and then be coming over here. You know, he makes his money off of our music. Uh, and, and Rick, don't get me wrong. I mean, Canada has a, a, a scene up there, but he is another. I would think Dwan B would probably also lump him in the category of problems, because Drake is a problem. Because you know, for the way that he's moving, it works for the business side of it and the machine. But he is an absolute detriment uh, to society as far as I'm concerned because all he really represents is death and partying and then more death. I was surprised. I'm going to be honest. I remember that's the y'all know why I call him wheelchair Jimmy. Oh, yeah. Uh, tell everybody. Okay. I know why. But tell yeah. everybody. Okay. Story. So yeah, that there, picture up. there was this show called Degrassi. <laughs> that was on back in the early 2000s. It was actually a pretty good show. Like, it tackled on a lot of different things. Mm -hmm. um, and it used to come on this show called, this channel called The Inn. And it's based in Canada. And his character on the show name was Jimmy. His character was very popular. He was an athlete. Like, he was like the pretty boy and all types of stuff like that. And the reason why I call him Woodshed Jimmy is because in one of the episodes, it was a guy who brought a gun to school who was getting bullied. And he got set up and he ended up shooting Jimmy in the back. Now, we, I thought they was going to kill his character off with that, but he ended up getting paralyzed and he ended up having to be in a wheelchair. So that's why I called him wheelchair Jimmy. I'm going to be honest. I did not expect him to go further than that. 
I'm going to be quite honest with y'all. I thought after Degrassi was over, that was going to be the end of of Aubrey Graham because he wasn't called Drake. Right. Called Aubrey Graham. That's his real name. For those of y'all who don't know, check that picture, Aubrey Brad. is his real name. Drake is his middle name. But then he started releasing like different songs. And I was like, wait a minute. That's wheelchair Jimmy from Degrassi. What are he doing out here? Like, because he he never he never exuded doing hip hop even in the show. So I was kind of like thrown, uh, taken aback when I saw him like doing hip hop. And and honest, like I said, honestly, I did not expect him to go that far and still have some type of relevancy here even today. <laughs> hey, I thought it was this. I thought it was over. I hey, thought it was hey, over after like the mid two thousands. Check Y'all that picture I just sent you. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna show it. I'm gonna show it. Y'all tell me this. So his dad is from Memphis, right? <laughs> He's got yeah, the keys to Memphis somehow. I don't know how the fuck they gave him the key to Memphis, but okay. <laughs> his dad's from Memphis. All right, now his dad didn't get the key to Memphis. He got the key to Memphis. His <laughs> dad is FBA. His mother is non-FBA. Obviously, she's non-black. <clears throat> a little hack. But he grew up with his mother in affluent Canada. Mm-hmm. Does that make him any down? Does that give him any cloud or credentials or any cachet in the situation? To me, it don't. It, it, it don't matter. It you know don't what I'm to well, me either. I don't know many me. brothers that had bar misfits. It, it, it started from the bottom. <laughs> it started from the bottom, not of here, right? Uh, yeah, that, he started from the bottom. His ass ran into Pusha T. Um, <laughs> then he stayed down there. Um, right here. There, there you go. Right there. Yep, that's wheelchair Jimmy. That's how I remember him, like from way back then. Wheelchair Jimmy in the house. Ooh, now you look at Drake, now you bro. look at now you look at Aubrey Graham because like I said back then we didn't call him Drake. Right. We didn't even know Drake was his middle name. Now does that look like a person that would have gotten into hip hop? Mm, no, nah. hell no. no. I, I thought I thought he was just gonna continue maybe doing acting. You know, I thought that's what he was gonna do after his after his role in the show was done. <laughs> that he was gonna continue to do acting, but for him to do this 360, like this 180, and go into hip hop, I did not see it coming at all. So Ooh. did he ride the coattails of um, Lil Wayne to get into? You the know game? what? They I'm almost sounded this. like. Now I'm gonna say this: he rolled the coattails to Lil Wayne, but Lil Wayne was escorting his ass along because he's off code right. as a motherfucker. You know, with all y'all, y'all heard the lyrics that Little Wayne used to say about sisters, which I, 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 I think I think Little Wayne's a um as a um five foot coon. I'm gonna be honest. Matt, with you. Um, I think Wayne that Wayne. Um, is is filled up with all types of coon juice. Um, he said detrimental things throughout the years about you know, Trayvon, Mike Brown, Little Wayne has said a lot of coonish, a lot of off cold stuff. stuff. Yeah. yeah, and that uh, you know needs to be called out. Big I don't know, like 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 for example. Racism don't exist because that white man with a camera is filming me. Uh-huh. Yeah, well, about the I cop. Remember the one about the cop? Is that again? Remember mm-hmm. the one about the cop? Was that the one you talking about with, with the cop about the cop saved him or something like that? I forgot what it was. Hey, look, oh. it, it's been no, hey, he also cool. said he said he said when girls write him on the internet, he says he denies all the Keishas, replies to all the Kims. And that see, this is why when Lil Wayne had that medical emergency with that lean, nobody was really wow. like uh, feeling bad for him because, first of all, you put yourself in that situation. It's not like you had a damn heart attack. So you literally right. OD'd. So, I mean, like, no one really yeah. felt yeah. bad for him in that moment. Mm-hmm. Not at all. Yeah, so and, and think- now. Somebody made a point. Is Drake, <laughs> they said Drake's not a tether, he's a vulture. Now, since he's non FBA, is is he fifty percent tether? Let let let's tighten it up here. Is is he? Well, mm. What is he here? Let, let's be real, because you didn't grow up in the FBA culture. So I mean, what does well, that make? Didn't. Is it? Um, right. th- doesn't he come from that slide in the family stone because of Larry Graham? So you know, I, I you know that mm. is his family, whether we like it or not. Yeah. Really, that's his uncle. Larry Graham yep. is definitely his uncle. That's his father's brother. But yeah, does that give you? right to the culture no you didn't grow up the same way that i did or brother torian did you know uh uh uh, brother black did brother beats did you didn't grow up the same way we grew up now as far as him saying the nigga thing i mean do they say nigga in canada or is that something that you took from us because again Mm -hmm. a lot of these countries i want you to understand whether they be black countries or not they don't use that n-word they don't say that over there so when let me say this Tell me this. Now think about it. 
Is he FBA Ooh. because of his daddy? Because he's not from America. No. Where, where do we? Where do? Where does this go? You understand? Right. So, because he's not from America. He is from Mm-mm. Canada. That motherfucker. Yeah, he's from Canada. He's, he's Canadian, Canadian born. Culturally, he's not us. Culturally, he's not us. Absolutely. His not. dad. His dad is <clears throat> NBA, but he his is dad not. is us. Yeah, absolutely. His but he, culturally, he is not. Not. So that that's where it gets. Where does nationality from? Where you actually live? Right. To your dad. By the way. Your daddy, that let's be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. Genetically, he has genetically he has FBA blood running through his veins through his Facts. dad, but he's not FBA born. Correct. No, he's so he does not have our culture. Canada. Gen- he's he's a uh, he's FBA with an asterisk. And then and then <laughs> and then and then on top of that, I'll take it a step further. His the FBA genetics that that he has going from his dad to him has gotten watered down even more because he got a white stripper pregnant y'all seen his son his son Ooh, looks yeah. as about his son looks very pale got the hey, blonde hair right. and everything like if, if, if no one told you that if nobody you. told you that was drake's son they would have just thought that was another white gerber baby so oh, basically he's trying to breed out the black <laughs> okay hey, let me show you this and the guy got got the blonde hair blue eyes everything mm-hmm. this is why we question people like this because what real respected person who relates to the fba culture would ever do something of this nature right here yeah oh, I, oh I remember that man yeah. drake literally this was almost a this this should have been a career ender right here yep Correct. this real. right here should have been the career ender Mm, for real that's why Pusha T brought that out but the way hip hop is nowadays y'all the artist's name sells more than if if their music is up to par um Drake but he can come out with a song tomorrow and it could be about BS and it'll go platinum because of his name is attached to it that's the way music is now unfortunately it's not like it was back in the day so um not to take away from you know this brother's past music, I'm not a big fan of Drake. But um, Me not to take away from him, but I know if Drake comes out with a song tomorrow, a lot of people are going to they're going to flock to it. Name. Yeah, yeah, because of his name alone. Because yeah, I heard that last album wasn't that good. Alone. Like a lot of trash songs that he put out is trash, like Money to the Grave. And, and that's the thing. But and that's the name. thing. With the last album he did, he tried to do that house music, which of course started with FBA. Mm-hmm. Correct. And that didn't work for him. No, like it didn't work for him, and it's crazy because he's because, not from that culture. And, 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 and it's crazy too because followed up, Beyonce released that Renaissance album, which was house music, and it worked for her mm. because she she's of that culture. Right. And I'm gonna say this too now. I'm gonna say this. Beyonce has a lot of different fans, but a, a Beyonce has a lot of black fans. Drake, the majority of his fans are white people. Can I be yeah, honest? With you? And I know that for a fact because I worked well, a Drake concert and I was able to scope the landscape. And you uh-huh. ain't lying about that. This is why when he ran into Pusha T, see, he thought what he was going to do is take all the benefits that the dominant society gives him, and he thought he was going to slide into an underground black cultural battle. And once you get judged by your peers and you start getting judged by people who are truly of the culture, you can't have. Karen and Ken protecting you. Karen and Ken will do the Kiki on TikTok all day long. They'll go make you double, triple, platinum all day long. But when you walked into that battle world, oh, you're dealing with black Americans then. Now you're in the real world. And he couldn't handle that. And that's why he got washed. Now, notice this about people like him. He'll run around and talk about how he's this and the king of rap. And by the way, when people tell him he's the next Michael Jackson, they always do that. Y'all notice he don't never come out and refute that. He don't never come out and be like, nah, 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 I I ain't, nope, nope, nope. He don't never do that. He just lets it slide. He let it ride. Now, notice, people like him, they never go around the dominant society and talk that double platinum, triple platinum, I'm the king of rap shit. Why don't you go on over to the CMAs and why don't you go on over to the goddamn W's and talk that talk? What Drake is, is he's the mulatto Eminem. And we have to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> that is pretty there. damn He's accurate. Model Eminem. He has been benefited with the same shit that Eminem was. Eminem had Dr. Ooh. Dre. He got Lil Wayne. Eminem That's was true. not of the culture. He's not of the culture. As a matter of fact, Eminem is from Detroit, 8 Mile, and by way of Kansas City. And I'll go as far as say that's more of a rough upbringing than what Drake had to go through with his swimming pool and his goddamn you know bar mitzvah. Drake but, ain't go through nothing. Fact. <laughs> but, 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 you know, we'll, we'll, we'll leave that on the table. Drake Man. is a mulatto Eminem, and if you watch, he duplicates our culture all the time. 
But when it comes to settling down, he go get him a W. All his real friends that he grew up with, at least, Eminem had proof. At least he had proof, right? Where's his proof? Where is he? <laughs> Crickets. He ain't got none. I'll tell you who he does have. He's got a bunch of W friends. He grew up doing W television shows. He's got a W baby mama. His mama is a W, and he's non-FBA. So, I mean, if this big motherfucker facts. is of the culture, we got to put a big-ass asterisk by that. Take your ass to them W's mm-hmm. and talk all that talk. Go battle Taylor Swift. Don't come trying to battle Pusha T, because when you battle Pusha T, <laughs> oh, you in the FBA world. And That's they another person I can't stand is that damn Taylor Swift. I would say that about Drake. Too. Drake, they they treat Drake as if he's like some type of androgynous kind of being. Drake is very race right. neutral when it comes to like uh, uh, situations that are going on in the world. And let's not act like he right. didn't hear about George Floyd. He heard about it. He oh, was he heard about it. Yeah. the um, world knew let's about not that. Act like he didn't hear about you know Trayvon or these. Think other about it, bro. Drake's been big since about oh eight oh nine. That Correct. Is yeah. Before right. uh, Trayvon Martin was still around for another two three years. You Correct. Know right. Right. But, Correct. But, you didn't but say anything. Bigger left and right, though. Correct. But here's my thing. I mean, like, like I say, you know, you you mimic the culture and 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 you benefit from that culture, but you don't do anything to like help that culture to, to like give back to that culture. You don't lend your voice where it's needed to be lent. Is that know? a vulture by definition? Oh yes. Mm. What about Zilla? Is that a, is that a vulture by definition? Absolutely by definition. What about they serve no other purpose? Definitely. Mm. So, so can we say he's a half FBA fool? Well, he is fool? half FBA. We can't. I can't take that away from him. He is half because of his father. But yeah. you still didn't grow up in that culture. You can be, you know, um, FBA and not know about the damn culture. You understand? Because mm. because he's not even from this damn country. He's not. You understand? He's, like, he's like, from sorry. Toronto, Canada, the six. But right. So food, right. Bro. You're not from this country. So, yes, you are FBA, but you don't know about our culture. Fast. Don't you tell me, I mean, did you even grow up with your father in the house, like, like around you? How many times did you see your father? How many so, times did you see And I find it interesting, too, that he comes from, I guess you can say, a, like, music background. But has he ever sampled their music or used it in any of, like, his um, songs? Find the Family Stone? That, yeah. that music, yes. Uh, beat, beat, brother beats. I mean, which <laughs> you know, that, that, that that that's your feel. Now, w- well, as far as the say, I don't think he sampled any of Sly. Uh, not that I can think. Of. I'm not a really, I'm not really into Drake, so I couldn't really tell you if he sampled them or not. But what, what's very interesting is how. Mm, uh, see, I look at Drake a different type of way. I'm looking at this picture right here, and I just see how no one understanding the business. I'm just seeing something here that, oh, okay, so you kind of juiced in already. So I'm looking at Drake as being more or less one of those people who are uh, covered by the powers that be. And when you talk about Larry Graham, um, you know, legend, absolutely. I don't know if he was so much around this because when you think about it, we talked about Prince earlier. Larry Graham in his later years was playing with Prince. You know what I'm saying? And it was for Sly, you know, he just recently was able to get his rights back years ago. Um, so, mm, yeah, I would have, if Drake being so close to that whole movement, and you've did nothing to make sure these people got their money. Eh. He's a super duper vulture. And so much so that he don't even look out for his own uncle. Eh. Industry plant, Miss D. There you go. See, see, I think I think that Drake is being pushed by the industry. They're telling you to Facts. like when they when they push something and and be honest, to be honest, that's our fault too as a consumer because we eat this up. We we don't we don't push back on that, you know. We don't say again like 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 Marcel brings up all the time. We don't put someone of our own there to represent us. Right. So if if the industry puts them there like they did with Obama, why do you expect he's going to do something for you or speak out for your issues if you didn't put him there? Mm. We need to like, you know, bring our own homegrown artists there and then mm-hmm. hold them accountable for speaking up. 
you can benefit off the culture as long as you're creative and pushing, you know, the culture forward. But when it's time to speak up, you better do so. You better make your voice heard the same way like you make your voice heard uh, when you have these hits. But again, it's up to us also to support those artists. You know what I mean? Like, like when, when they do come out, you know, with their, Facts. you know, the same way, like, like I say, you know, like, like it's, it applies the same thing all around. Brother Claude Anderson has taught us this, you know, um, entertainers, artists, excuse me, entertainers are the same thing. Um, politicians, bring them up from the grassroots and then support mm -hmm. them. Don't support the fakes. Don't support the phonies like Pac always says. You know, support someone that you know is speaking on your behalf. Facts. That's the only way we're going to get, you know, move forward. But Drake was put here. I truly Facts. feel that Drake is, and he's always put in front of you. You're like Drake, right? Yes. So Drake is this type of, again, he's this type of androgynous character. Is he white? Is he black? Oh, he's neutral. And he's very, very neutral when it comes to, like, stuff that goes on in the world. There's Man. no way you could have missed Trayvon. There's no way you could have missed Mike Brown. Mike Brown. There's no way you could have missed um, Sandra Bland. There's no way you could have missed George Floyd. But all of a sudden, this one man misses everything. He doesn't address it on his lyrics. He doesn't address it nowhere. That tells Facts. you something. What is that telling you? Facts. And, you know, that's for, for me looking at a dude like Drake, he has to be a plan, like, like we're saying, because we don't I, I don't i don't go looking for drake but yet i can't shake drake that tells you that the machine is behind him because i don't even go looking for him and he's always there and i mm -hmm. couldn't tell you the first song song the first correct like when drake releases a single it could be like a two song ep that it's going to be at the top of itunes the top of Spotify, it's gonna be mm -hmm. right there as soon as you open the damn app. That Facts. should tell you something. You got artists Facts. like you know, like 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 J Cole, <laughs> you know, um, 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 that don't get the same type of love, you know, that that uh, that, that Drake gets. And and again, Facts. that's our fault as a consumer because mm -hmm. J Cole has spoken up. He has mm -hmm. absolutely, absolutely, he has. J Cole has thrown on a Kaepernick, you know, jersey. He's done mm -hmm. things like that. Absolutely, you got artists out here that have spoken up, but this one guy, you know, he just maybe I, I don't know. Maybe he's he's in another country when he's things. I, I don't know. I don't know how you missed George Floyd when it was rioting in every country. I don't know how you missed it, but maybe he's okay. right? maybe, maybe he was on Mars. I got it. <laughs> he probably was on Mars. <laughs> So he missed it. And, and and you know what? We can't blame him. <laughs> he would I'm mean, I'm so I'm sure his fans would like to say that. <laughs> man, y'all hating on Drake. Man, y'all so like hating. Some I mean, point, out, point out something that Drake has done that has been for the people. That that wasn't for Drake. We'll wait. And I'll wait. Point out something. Because I can tell you uh, a, a numerous amount of artists that have done things that are not specifically just for them, or they have spoken up when it needed to be spoken up for. Mm -hmm. I can tell you artists, and, and they're not as big of a name as Drake, or they haven't sold as much records as Drake. You know, But again, we still reward him. We still stream his music. We still go to his concert. We still watch his videos. We still do that. Hmm. Some people follow this dude online. For what? Mm -hmm. What is he? How can you know? Honestly, no, 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 honestly. <laughs> the people in the chat, no, 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 let's talk real for a second. How could you support a person like Jason Black and Tariq Nasheed and then listen to Drake? Let's be honest here. How could you support the two? Because he doesn't speak up anything for the black community. And if you're, you know, black first, what's black first about that man? The fact that he had braids? Dorian <laughs> got braids too. <laughs> like, 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 you know, and again, this is no hey. I think Drake is very talented. The only thing I get on Drake about is that he doesn't do enough. He doesn't do enough for um the black community. And I'm not saying that you gotta be Malcolm X. You don't have to do that. But anytime you see any type of injustice, you need to speak up. You have a very loud microphone. Say something. You know what I mean? Oh, it we rap, bro. You can put anything in your raps, bro. Facts. You can get it through subliminally. You don't have to mm -hmm. come out and just say it. 
Fact. You can say something subliminally. You don't. That was a lot of content that he could have put out there within like all that stuff that was going on, especially in lot. 2020. That it's and people and people and people would and people would have gravitated to it, so they already gravitate to you right now. Correct. But you know I mean, what it is. But you know what you know what it is. You know what it is though. You know why he didn't do it. <laughs> Because if he would have did it, he would have been scared that the media machine would have called him woke. Yep. And that's what he didn't want to get called. Yep. And, and I said it. Fans would have been gone. The, 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 and he would have lost. And, and, and that's what. And that's what he was scared of. You so and y'all, and y'all, and y'all, and y'all know how much I hate how they bastardized that word. But <laughs> that, I think that's. The, I think that's the direction. I think that's probably that. That's my assumption of it. That makes sense. You know, you know I think, and I think that can, applied, that can be applied. I think that can be applied to a lot of celebrities, honestly. And let's say you this have... as well. Let's say this as well. Drake is a little, he's slightly a little different because typically that's what a black artist that has a lot of W support, right? Mm-hmm. Drake comes from the W community. Correct. So not only does he want to protect his market base with his fans, Drake also is going to have to go home to these people because we know that's his family. He's not like a black person who's been around no W's, he just wants your money. All that Michael Jordan, Republicans buy sneakers too type shit. That's why Michael Jordan was hush-hush for so long, because he didn't want to upset his pockets. Drake not only doesn't want to upset his pockets, Drake don't want to upset his family members. Fact. Because he's going to have to go home, and his mom and them is going to be looking at him, and they're going to want to know why you out here supporting George Floyd. Why you out here supporting Rakia Boy? Why you out right. here supporting Korean Games? They're going to be in his mix saying, come on. And what you're seeing is, is that what we talk about where this dual allegiance, y'all know brother Tariq mm-hmm. always talks about that, that yes. dual allegiance where whenever it's somebody with an allegiance to his FBA father Correct. and then his W side that way, felt fish. Cool. by his <laughs> actions, he supports the other side, you know, in terms of waiting for Drake to, to really, it's sad. Typically we don't, we want somebody to do more. We wait for this motherfucker to do one. He ain't done what we're talking about. What Michael Jordan, has came mm-hmm. out and did look. Michael Jordan gave money to the Malcolm X movie, Spike mm-hmm. Lee in 1991, 92. And mm-hmm. we get on Michael Jordan, of course, because Michael Jordan. But, was- but, 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 Spike Lee's his man. But, right. Drake right. Before, right. Right. Uh, did still you do it Malcolm, or did you do it because Spike Lee's your man? Drake is a quadruple platinum artist. You ain't tweeted. <laughs> right. <laughs> I don't remember Drake saying anything about that. And that, that's my issue with no. Drake. I don't, I don't necessarily have an issue with the man. You know, look, he's creative. You know, he's done some things. Great. That's cool. But um, you have a huge microphone, a huge platform. Absolutely. Why don't you use that to do something empowering? I understand you want to fuck porn stars. That's all cool and all that. Do your thing, brother. You know what I mean? But but at the end of the day, man, like, you know, <laughs> what is your purpose? What, what have you done? What have you done to change the game of music before you? And after you, what have you done? You know, you don't, again, you don't have to be Tupac Shakur. I'm not asking him to be that. I'm not asking him to be Nas. I'm not asking him to be that. I'm asking you to be a person that something happens in the world. Have some type of con, have some type of conscience with yourself, brother. Have some type of courage to say something. Fucking Beyonce said something, bro. You got Beyonce saying something, bro. And if you, here's my thing to these brothers, bro. If if the sisters are out here saying something, and y'all brothers ain't saying nothing, bro. Hmm. You a waste, homie. Like, I'm sorry, bro. No comment. Hey, hey, Drake ain't even. He ain't even took the damn the Black Lives Matter path. Y'all know Black Lives Matter. No, before, right? They saw for the carnival cotton candy. All right, facts. They saw he ain't even did that. He ain't even did Democratic Shields. Motherfucking Democrats act like they they pretend they give a fuck. This motherfucker don't even pretend. To to be down mm-hmm. with the black community. So hmm. what we're gonna have to do as a community is either we gonna have a code or we're not. Right. We cannot allow these people no more to come into the community, make money off us, braid your motherfucking hair, throw the nigga word around left and right like a goddamn football pass. Get pink picking nail polish. Finger nail, put your <laughs> finger nail polish on. I'm not letting and that it, one go. <laughs> pink finger nail polish. Pink, pink, pink this motherfucker polish. 40 years old doing goddamn kiki, okay? We can't allow yamata. people to come into the community. And it's not about people calling out Drake now. People should have called out Drake 10 fucking years ago. You know what I'm saying? Because brothers and sisters are getting hurt, mm-hmm. harmed, and de- deleted for 10 years. Drake, mm-hmm. at the end of the day, is somebody where we're going to have to put in that code of punishment to where we got to let motherfuckers like him know either you're going to be down or you're going to be out. 
You cannot straddle. The days of straddling the fence are over. Mm -hmm. Like I say, what happens now with Michael Jordan? People call out Michael Jordan. I remember motherfuckers used to not say nothing about Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. Michael Jordan went his whole career. That black folks didn't say nothing. And mm -hmm. now we call out Michael Jordan. You start looking at people. Like we say, Eminem is trash. Eminem is terrible. And people always get on Eminem, who is garbage. But at the same time, Drake's mm -hmm. doing the same shit Eminem did. The same exact thing in terms of vulturing off the community. People at this point with Drake, Drake, I don't give a fuck if your daddy is 54 and the third FBA. If you ain't FBA up here and you don't mentally hold us down, then your ass got to hit the goddamn door. You got you to gotta get the fuck on out. Because at the end of the day, if we're trying to get real justice, Drake is the motherfucker that's going to be telling Master that y'all ran away. He's going to be telling Master, uh, Zilla, Sage, Torian, and the whole goddamn chat, they went that way, and he's going to be telling Master on us. We know yeah, that. Really know. Let me say, Drake ain't nothing new. Drake been around on the plantation. Walker, Drake been that same character, nothing new under the sun. Drake was on the plantation telling motherfuckers out way back in the 1700s. And it's now he's the modern day version where he eats off of our culture and then he never tweets nothing, don't speak nothing. Motherfucker ain't did sign language. Motherfucker learn sign language and say goddamn Tamir Rice. Goddamn say somebody's goddamn name. Draw it on the goddamn picture, please. But if you don't, then what we got to do, we got to do what I always say. We got to put them on the corner like a trash day. If you a Democratic shield and you off code, we got to G-check your ass. If you are a Republican and you off code, we got to G-check your ass. If you a foreigner, you will goddamn op. Or if you are half FBA from Canada with a W mama and you don't say shit about our community, but yet you eat off our community, we got to call your ass out. Period. Facts. Facts. And, and, you know, just like I see this dude in the chat, um, which is obvious, he got... He's going with such a like the, the opposite name of a Pan-Africanist. But I mean, the tone of a Pan-Africanist is so crazy. Here's the point, though. I, I, you know, because I'm seeing what he's talking about. Man, we kick and mix people out the race. Number one, you can't kick anybody out of the race. Number two, we already acknowledge that he's a foundational black American by way of his father. He is not of our culture because he's Canadian raised in a... Um, different religion and different culture and that culture typically has been known to be very extremely anti-black even more so all drake represents is being the ultimate safe negro correct nothing more nothing less yeah pretty much that's what it, what it boils down to that's it and so hey, you know let me say this that dude talk about it ain't got nothing to do with people it's where your mind at facts. where's your brain where's your brain you know what i mean oh. It on his up, money, that, that's where it's about him being mixed and all that. No one even is talking about that. What we're saying is that his mentality mm -hmm. is that of somebody who is either opposition or a vulture. I don't care what his mother is, his father is, none of that. At the end of the day, if you don't have the mentality that you rock with foundational black Americans or you look at us as some type of mm -hmm. meal ticket and you're silent on our issues, that's what we're going at. It's the mind frame. Yep. If somebody's going to ride, they're going to ride. If they ain't going to ride, they ain't going to ride. It's simple. What Malcolm X say, make it plain. And we could just mm -hmm. look at Drake and it's like, based on this man been around damn there for 20 years now. Drake's not a new <clears> artist. <throat> You've been around for 20 years and you haven't said anything. You're not going to say something on the 21st year. <laughs> so it's not a figuring out process no more. He is not really supportive of the culture, not of the culture, even though genetically, but not mentally. And if a mental mind with the genetics and you don't do nothing, it doesn't mean anything to us. Mm. Now, with that said, we got somebody else in here, and I want to hear his motherfucking opinion on this. First off, he needs to take off. He needs. He needs to take off that goddamn NWO shirt. Uh, why? You you don't like it? Should I go uh, put on the red one? Go put on <laughs> the Wolfpack. Don't count either, brother. <laughs> <laughs> I had to rush out of work. I had to rush to work today, so I just picked whatever was clean. Let me ask you a question. What do you feel about Drake? Yes, what, what what's your opinion? Not not if he's a a good father or if he can rap good or he can ride over a beat good socially where do you put this man at is he a vulture in your opinion uh he goes where the buzzards are mm. i i don't look to drake to talk for me i don't just like i don't look at no entertainer or sports athlete to talk for me because i don't know who's paying you behind the scenes to say that so Drake can, he can advocate for maple syrup and, you know, snow all day. That's fine. But when you talk about black issues, <laughs> no. stay your ass in L.A. You know, 
Do your thing. Have have fun making waves, you know, making nice googly eyes to goddamn Steph Curry and his wife is hating on it. Yeah, y'all can do that. That that's that's a beautiful thing, but I don't want to hear nothing from you. Cause like y'all were saying, if you ain't say something about Tamir Rice when you came out, you ain't say something about about Trayvon. Don't say nothing about the next person they're gonna go after. Mm-hmm. I don't want to hear it. But you know, wheelchair gang, you know. <laughs> wheelchair Jimmy. Wheelchair gang. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, now I got another. No, we're not done yet. Now hold on. Now yes, we're, sir. we're not done. We're not done. Tell me, y'all remember this? This is what happens when you don't get keep your culture. This was just a few years ago. A lot of people forget about this. This I want to say 2011, 2012. Do y'all remember when these two people were running around here masquerading with our culture? And by the way, neither one of them have a career anymore. Y'all remember them? Mm. Oh, Igloo Australia. <laughs> Eagle Australia and, and Whack-a-Mole. Whack-a-Mole. Let's go, hey, Whack-a-Mole. Hey, y'all see what the caption says, right? By the way, yes, she sir. tweeted that out back then. The oh, king and queen of rap. Does that Wits. say Atlanta kilos? Wait, somebody, no, that's somebody else. I think that's somebody else that just has yeah, her Atlanta name on it. But I think that's someone else. But either way, that's yeah. very false. More like the king and queen of saran rap. If you want to call it that, <laughs> now notice they tried to credential this dude, and that that was the very last year that I watched the Grammys when Mac Lamar won over Kendrick Lamar. Oh yeah, like, yeah. insane. Like that since, um, but they try to credential. They, they they bring people like this to us, and then they credential them. So they throw Grammys on them. They say, mm-hmm. hey, this person has been on the charts longer than Michael. Excuse me, Magic. Excuse me. Wow, Michael. <laughs> I'm going through the hole. I'm sorry. My bad. Um, they try to throw credentials on these people to try to make them legit in our eyes. But these people are talentless. You know, where, where, where have they been? Where has Mac Lamar been? Where has mm. Iggy Azalea been? You know, I know exactly. she got her ass done, you know. You know, like, I think she got pregnant by, like, somebody. I don't, I don't mm. know why exactly. But, you know, mm. she been out the game. Ever since she got, she got kicked out the game when she disrespected a tribe called Quest. Mm-hmm. She said something slick about them, and then you know they made fast work up. I ain't seen her since. She should have just stayed with Nick Young. It would have been a great career move. Was that the dude that got her um, pregnant? Was it Nick Young? N- no, nah, no. Nah. They were dating, but remember they were the toast of L.A. until you know allegedly he cheated. Ah, uh, and then she, she she got, uh, and then she went full Karen. Uh oh. Oh, she went Karen. Yes, yeah, she did. Hmm. Remember that time? I think she had, remember that time she had got exposed. I think it was some kind of um, some kind of performance she did, yeah. and it was live. And she and and she was like, I guess mumble rapping, but no one understood what she was saying. I don't know if she forgot the words or whatever the case was, but it sounded horrible. And that's uh, that was the, the beginning of the end for her. Mm-hmm. Okay, so oh, her wow. baby father name is Playboy Cardi. I don't know anything about him. By the way. Oh, he another he has one a baby by rappers. Playboy Cardi. He one of them new rappers. He's yeah, one of them uh, Satan lovers. Mm-hmm. He got Satan written all over him. Stuff. He, I mean, for real. Like he's a real, full, true Satan lover. <laughs> Shout out to Nick Young for from. dodging that, though. Shout and out I'm gonna be honest with y'all. A lot of a lot of these people that got the black people that got that Satan stuff on them that mm-hmm. rock that emo. You know, a lot of them are coons, by the way. A lot Hell of those yeah. black people that you know that they got the black finger painted nails that you see. Yes. You know, a lot of them with the high boots. A lot of them be yeah. cool. Let me be honest with you, man. Real and tough. he's a tether too, by the way. Mm-hmm. Playboy Cardi no, is a no. full blown tether. Yes. Oh, is. okay. Not with us. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> the black black alpha trying to find a good one. Look at him. Look at that oh, face. Oh, he trying oh, to find a good one. <laughs> oh, I got one. I got one. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Y'all tell me now. Y'all tell me right now. Hmm. This right here. Now, this ain't no question no more. The, the, the is it a vulture and all that? That shit's over with. Y'all tell me right now what y'all feel about this motherfucker. I think a lot of y'all saw this, but we're going to do it any goddamn way. Y'all tell me right now, is this the type of uh, bullshit that we be seeing? Matter of fact, let me ask y'all before I go there. Y'all heard of that dude named China Mac? Mm-hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. China Mac is one of these people. Who all, once again, just like Drake, who throws around the N-word all the time, left and right, left and right. Only difference is, is when you say something about China Mac community, at least Drake just is quiet, right? China Mac, one of the motherfuckers, he gonna get those, those, you know, that fake courage and shit. Well, anyway, 
there's a motherfucker that came out from his same community. And this person, I think a lot of y'all seen this video, was going reckless. This is what happens when you do not gatekeep or G-check your community. Uh, Listen to this right here, and we're going to go ahead and run the whole, whole game. There we go. Oh, this been mad controversy. Oh, this about shit. Oh, this my God. Bitch, this shit. Is the last time I'm going to say this shit. My voice is how the fuck I fucking sound. I'm not going to fake some shit for 19 fucking years. That don't make no fucking sense. Bitch, if I grew up around the fucking hood, if I grew up in the projects, I'm going to speak how the people around me speak. If I go to school with people who speak like this, I'm going to speak how I speak. That's not how, that's not faking or nothing like that. You a product of your environment. Y'all bitches should know that shit. And bitch, if I live in China, I ain't gonna be speaking mad Chinese. Like, come on, this, this is fucking science, bro. Like, not even science. This is ABC, motherfucker. Like, come on. You're telling me I should. Man, oh man. All right, listen. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let the same. I want to say, 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 I, I want to hear your oh, opinion God. on this one, brother. Okay. Brother, um, tell me what happens when, when, when those type of individuals come around your type of FBAs when y'all see them in real life? Do they do they talk like that? Do they got the same energy? Or, or do they change that shit up real quick? So, no, no, in New York City. And she sounds, I mean, she's saying New York, New York slang, like, you know, but my thing is, I think that I don't put that on. I speak, um, you know, I pronunciate my words. I don't speak like this motherfucker. You know, we don't speak like that. Bro. Thank you. So again, I don't, I don't know where you're getting that from. And I grew up in Fort Wayne <laughs> Projects in Brooklyn, New York. I didn't speak like that. I don't speak like that. So I don't know where you're getting this from, ma'am. But again, they take the worst of our society and try to, mm -hmm. you know, blow that up as if that represents the whole of us. And that just shows your racism. So again, you're trying to mimic something that you don't fully understand because we don't speak like that. I don't from the hood, like yo. yo. And I, I live, I grew up in Brooklyn, New York, and I don't speak like that. Sure. Man. You, but you know what it is, Brother Sage? They, they, it's the '90s. They still, you know, everybody else is behind us, bro. That's right. '90s playing all day. I heard a lot of that shit in Queens. You know, yeah. right, go ahead, get your Queens jokes out of the way. Go ahead. <laughs> no, 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 it's all love with Queens, man. You know, I, now, now if it was the Bronx, I'll have to get on you. But oh, there you go. So, <laughs> they all want to hit. They all want to talk like they're either from Queens, Brooklyn, or Harlem. Mm. And wow. like I said, they're always twenty years behind. This right. Is, this is how they sounded in the nineties when mm. they wanted like, "Yo, tell me a New York black person." That that's who you. That's exactly how. I, we I don't know one that sounds like that. I'm gonna no, be completely don't. honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> I bet you she kept as long as she would have said herb or buns. Yeah. That's making fun of people, but she wouldn't have that energy again. Notice nah. how she took that to online. Right, mm -hmm. wouldn't have mm -hmm. that energy. Said so they're not like that. These Asians, I don't know how they do it right. across. The, you know, that's put, fine. Put, 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 put us the projects. You know, and let that, us say that's that. that's that's fine because you know that, that this is them quote unquote taking something away from us. Meanwhile, the government is taking something away from them, and, and they actually <laughs> gave it away, and that was affirmative action. Say it again. And they're going to be taking something else what, from what, them too. What is it you said? What did you say the other day, Torian? What they got to do? Oh, hold their own wontons. My man. Yeah. <laughs> hold their own wontons. We don't care if it's Friday in the suit. Hold that shit. <laughs>